Hello, and welcome to this vlog. I am currently on my bed, if you didn't know. Um, it's the 3rd of August, so for two days I have read literally nothing for the readathon. I've been reading this um, arc that is pretty much the shittiest thing I've ever read. That. Um, it's not good. It's terrible, actually. Um, it has an average 2.46 star rating out of 140 ratings. Um, did I make good choices? No. But we are here now, and I am a stubborn woman, so I'm going to read it till the end. Also, if you notice my lisp, I have Invisalign. Fun fact. Because my teeth are crooked. What I'm actually here to do is, even though I still need to finish that arc and another one before I actually start reading, I want to tell you what I want to try and read this week. Because it's currently Wednesday. So I have a few days left in this week, even though I did not start on Monday. Also, Monday I was coming back from holidays, so I was not about to do that. I want to start with this book because it looks interesting. I'm kind of in the thriller mood. I want to watch thriller movies. I keep watching true crime, which is a problem. Um, so I'm in the mood for this after the two romance books that I need to read. Um, this is about a guy who can see ghosts. And this is for the conjuration for the O. If that made any sense. Whatever. It's to get a known conjuration. Um, I want to try and do this first because, yeah. And then the other one I wanted to read, these are the two shortest ones. Actually, I'm changing my mind now. I want to, after that, read Illuminate. I'm actually planning on reading all three books in this series, but for now, I'm just going to say the first one. Um, I'm going to be annotating this, which I don't understand. I don't, mm, which I don't know how I'm going to do because some of these pages are black, but I'll figure it out. Um, I'm excited for this. I might add one more just because I'm insane in the membrane. Either the fine print or Coraline. I'm not about to start reading fantasy. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I might do this because I'm excited for this a little bit. <laughs> and I might leave this for when I need something fast to read. I think I'm going to do that. So this week is The Taking of Jake Livingston, Illumine, and The Fine Print. Because I don't want to stress as much as last time. Last time was a struggle. Um, yeah. Also, if quests come out, I will try and do those. But maybe I'll leave them till the end. <laughs> I'm gonna go finish my freaking arc and then rant about it on Goodreads. And then I need to read another one. I'll come back another day because I'm 100% not finishing both today and reading something else. So I'll come back another day um, when I start reading something actually for this readathon. I just wanted to like say hello. But yeah, I wanted to say hello while my teeth are quaking in pain um, and tell you what I wanted to do this week book wise. So yeah, that's the plan for the week. Um, hopefully. I follow through with my plans and don't do some bullshit, which is very likely. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Goodbye for now. Hello. I reorganized my bookshelves and I fucking hate it. I did it by alphabetical order of the author's last name. And I really, okay, I like the fact that series are together and like every book that I own of the same author are together. Like Marissa Meyer, I have, where the fuck are you? I have a random contemporary book and then fantasy books. So they're all together when they before were separated. Does that make sense? But I hate it. Anyways, I've started a book for this readathon, finally. Um, I started The Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas. Douglas or Douglas? No, Douglas. I've read 50 pages kind of. So far, I'm just confused, which I think is the point. We follow two characters, obviously Jake and a guy named Sawyer. Jake sees ghosts, 
and he sees their last moments on repeat. Um, those who have like stayed stuck in that, I guess. And he's being targeted by a ghost, which we don't know who the ghost is, even though I think I know. And then we follow Sawyer, who I think his perspective is in the past because in Jake's POV, he talks about Sawyer and that he shot up the school and then killed himself. And I think that Sawyer's POV is to figure out or understand why he did that. He's very disturbed. I don't know if anyone watching watches a lot of true crime, but the things that Sawyer is doing and talking about is giving me serial killer vibes. Like, he likes dissecting animals, dead animals. I feel like I've seen multiple serial killers that did that as children for fun. So it's giving serial killer vibes right now, which I'm fine with, but like, I don't know. It's interesting, I'll give it that. Apart from that, I finished the arc that I was talking about. It was not good, I gave it a 1.5. <laughs> Terrible. Um, I still have a lot of arcs to read, so in between all of these books for the readathon, I'm going to be reading the arcs. I feel like none of them really go into any of the prompts. Maybe for a quest, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna go keep reading this and then I'll check back in if anything interesting happens or if I've finished. Which is probably soon. Either today or tomorrow, because it's really short. It's like 250 pages. Your favorite lisping queen is back. I have a lot to talk about with you because I took a few days not vlogging. So last time I talked to you, I said I was going to read this book. Um, I did. I read this in like two days, I think it was. Um, I gave it a two or three. I think it was a three, actually. I gave it a three star. Didn't really like it. Excuse you. I gave it a 3 star, I didn't really like it, it was okay. It was not what I was expecting, so... I don't know. Um, there was a lot that just like was not for me. It was okay, basically, moral of the story. Then, I ended up reading Coraline by Neil Gaiman. I didn't like this either. I think I would have liked it more if I had read this when I was like 11, which is when I read the Graveyard book which I reread recently and didn't like as much as I did when I was younger, so I feel like it's the same vibe. Also, I think I would have liked this more if I hadn't watched the movie. This is not identical to the movie, and the movie is one of my favorites of all time. So it's kind of sad, but like, understandable. The only thing that really, like, I knew before going into this, but I was still sad about it, is the character YB is not in this. He doesn't exist. He was made solely for the movie and the doll as well. There's a lot that's not in this that they made up for the movie. And I feel like that made the movie better than the book, if that makes sense. Whatever, my rant is over. I didn't like this as much. We're in a different place now because my book was on my bed. I started my reread yesterday. I only read 100 pages, which is fine. There's a naked person outside. Oh. Sir, what are you doing? Hello? Anyways, um, I'm loving this. I gave this a five star last time, so obviously I'm gonna love this. I'd completely forgotten most of this. I forgot how much I love Ezra. I also did not realize that Ezra was almost two meters tall. Um, I'm annotating it. I don't know if you can even tell. Probably, probably not. Um, and I'm having fun doing that. I'm not underlining a lot of stuff, but it's mostly just funny stuff that Ezra says. Because he's my type of person, he uses a lot of sarcasm, which I love. So yeah, I'm gonna go keep reading this now. And hopefully finish it today so I can read something else. I don't know if after this I'm gonna read um, the other two books in the series, probably. I still have a lot to read. I have all of these fantasy books to read. Plus the fine print. The ma Oh my god, the man went inside. Thank god. I'm gonna go read this now.
Hello, it is the 20th and I have not read anything really. One sec. So, since I last talked to you, I was reading Illumine. I finished. I gave it a 4.5. Um, it wasn't as great as when I first read it because I already know the plot twists and stuff. I love this, but it wasn't as good, you know? So that means I finished the third prompt of conjuration. I don't remember distinguished or qualified one of them. I don't remember which one, which was to read a reread. So we're done with that. And then I have started the crowns game. I'm a hundred pages in kind of. I'm on page 98. Close enough. I'm really liking it so far. It's kind of giving me night circus vibes. My leg is itching. Also, you might notice my lisp is gone. It's because I've been eating and I took it up. Anyways, um, so far it's really fun. Uh, the game's only started now, so we'll see how it goes. But so far I really like the two characters, Vika and Nikolai. I keep seeing Nikolai from Shadow and Bone instead of the Nikolai from this, but I'm trying to like focus that this Nikolai is not that Nikolai, so... Yeah, so I'm reading this. This is for the prompt of I have forgotten. It's for demonology, which is to read a fantasy book, which this is. So we're going ahead with that. Uh, this is also my buzzword. So two birds and one stone. Um, apart from that, I have a lot to read and not a lot of time. Once again, because I was sick for a few days and I have not been in the reading mood. So I've, again, done things to make myself stress out at the end of the month like last time. Why do I do this to myself? So after I finish this duology, I have four more books to read, which is not that bad thinking about it. But yeah, after this series, I'm going to read the fine print because I feel like that's going to be faster. And then I'll read the warrior heir and then the other two books, which are the kingdom of the wicked series. Hopefully I do this soon and not later because I don't want to stress out again. Also, I haven't been reading because I've been watching CSI because I'm stupid. I finished season three, fun fact. I'm in a different place. I'm sitting at my desk. That's why you probably hear my computer because she's on. Sounds kind of like an airplane, I guess. I'm just here to say that it's the 27th, so I'm behind again. On my reading. I'm here to say that I finished The Crown's Game yesterday. Did I like it? No, I did not. So I was thinking I'm gonna skip a rule on this because that's gonna give me another slump and I'm gonna start the fine print today and hopefully finish it because I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> yeah and this was to read a fantasy book for the demonology prompt so I've done that unfortunately because that took me so long to read but whatever i just i did not like it it was i think too ya for me but whatever um yeah i'm excited for the fine print it's over there at my window so i'm not gonna go get it right now because i'm doing stuff um so yeah i'm gonna go work and do whatever i'm doing and then if I read and stuff, I will update you. But for now, that's all that has happened this week. I've not been reading. It's been a struggle. This has given me a slump. So now I have a, like a, a feud with this book. 
hate you. Hello, it is the 30th, I think. Indeed, um, and I have some updates going on. I started this two days ago and I finished it yesterday. I loved this. I gave it a 4.5, um, mostly because of the miscommunication in this. I didn't, I don't like it. But this was so fun. I really enjoyed reading this. Um, the smut is great, the banter is amazing. I love the Disney adult vibes this has because I am one. Rowan is a, a fun book boyfriend. This is just really good and the ending made me cry but I think it's mostly because of PMS. I'm not sure though. Moral of the story, TikTok did not do me dirty and this was great. Recommend this. I'm excited to read book number two, which is this one. Um, I think I'm gonna like this more because it's an arranged marriage and this... What trope is this? This is more enemies to lovers, workplace, romance kind of vibes and I like that, but, but this I think I'm gonna like more. I'm excited, but for now I can't read that. But this was for... Um, Spells and incantations to get a qualified grade, which was to read a book on somebody else's TBR. And then today I started this. Um, I've read 20 pages and I'm not living. I think I, I have a feeling that I'm gonna end up DNFing it because again, it's YA, it's a 16 year old character and I already got the ick from that. Um, I'm gonna give it 100 pages, if I still don't like it, I'm gonna DNF it, and since I have more than 100 points in my guild thing, I forgot the name of it, I can count DNFs. So, worst case, I can still count this. And if I do hate it today, I'm gonna try and read this entire book, <laughs> because we are, on, we are on a time crunch. Um, I have to read these two books plus Warrior Air in two days. Pray for me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go read. If I do end up hating this and start the other book, I will update you, but I'm gonna go read now. Hello, it's the last day and I'm struggling to finish the two books that I need to read but so far I've reached almost half, I think, of the first book. Yeah, that feels like half. Um, I'm liking it but I'm very confused because this book is based on the seven sins, right? They're all- the princes are each of the sins. But there's also a devil, but the devil's also pride. I'm really confused, and I don't understand which is what, and it's frustrating. Never mind, I just realized that I'm just stupid. Um, I went back in the book and in human religion, the devil was often associated with pride. Why am I dumb? I was going crazy trying to understand why she assumed pride was the devil. When I just read it wrong. Anyways, I'm trying my best to read this, plus the other one. Um, the struggle bus is real, but we're doing our best. <laughs> Hello, so it's been a while. I probably have a worse list because I now have elastics on my braces thing, so can barely open my mouth. But I have since read and finished the last book for this readathon, I gave myself a slight extension of a week because otherwise I was going to get stressed and we don't want that. So I finished this the other day, so I did complete technically, kind of, not really, um, this year's magical readathon, the first year. That was the most horrible list I've ever heard. Anyways, and this was for the prompt to read a book that was black. 
Um, so yeah, I finished all of them. I didn't really like this. I gave it a 3.5, which is like, okay. Um, Amelia's just annoying. <laughs> so, as a quick final recap, I'm just gonna say what each of the books that I read was for. And then if you want to know my actual thoughts about the books, I am going to be posting my wrap up soon so you can refer to that if you want to know my thoughts. So the first prompt was animal studies, which was to read a book that featured an animal companion or a familiar, and for that I read Coraline. Then the second um, subject, I guess, is spells and incantations, which I had to get a Q, I think, which is two books. And for the first one is the one I just mentioned, which was to read a book that was black because of the color wheel I picked. And the other one was to choose from somebody else's TBR, which I read this. The next subject was Conjuration, which I had to get a D, which means I have to read three books. The first one was to read a book that featured necromancy. For that, I read The Taking of Jake Livingston. The second one was to read a book that featured a bone in the title or the cover, and I read the first book of Kingdom of the Wicked, which is Kingdom of the Wicked. And then the last prompt was to reread a favorite, and I reread Illuminae. The next subject was Restoration. I only needed to read one book for that, which was um, to read a book with a single object as the focus of the cover. I DNF this, but I'm counting it as a DNF, and since I have more than 100 guild points, I can count this, which I did, obviously. Um, yeah, DNF that was not good. And then the last subject was Demonology, which you were supposed to read a fantasy book. And for that, I read The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. So these were all the books I read for this readathon. Um, did I have a great time? Not really. I only loved two books out of this stack, um, which is kind of horrifying. I'm excited for next year. Hopefully I don't do as terrible as this year where I leave everything to the last minute. But that is everything for today, and I'll see you in my next weird vlog. Bye!